why hello there it is 12 days until elden ring comes out on february 25th 2022 and this is the elden wake countdown today i'll be talking about the latest elden ring news including information about two upcoming elden ring trailers as well as covering a couple item descriptions from the network test let's get into it and let's quickly break down the news i am not mordecai so i will not go exhaustively into all these things but there was an Elden Ring bus spotted in London. That credit goes to you and Requiem for taking that picture. That is a very cool bus. And I like the little George R. R. Martin quote up in the uh, right hand side of the bus. There are more photos and videos of people with Elden Ring at their stores. Whether they're unboxing them. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening. So physical copies of Elden Ring are everywhere right now. And the big news is that there's been confirmation that I got from Omni about two upcoming Elden Ring trailers. The first is a gameplay overview trailer that is similar to what Sekiro did, where they released a story and a gameplay overview, and it just sort of breaks down the systems for people before the game launches. This will be a longer trailer, and it will show lots of stuff, which will include some new enemies, skills, spells, and equipment, but it shouldn't be too spoilery otherwise. So if you've kept up with all the footage shown so far, it shouldn't be too bad from what I'm hearing. And then we have the launch trailer, which will be evocative and it will contain images that will be recognized as significant eventually, even if we don't catch it now. It'll be like the Dark Souls 3 launch trailer in the sense that there will be some probably significant stuff shown that you won't really know the context for until later on. But speaking of the Dark Souls 3 launch trailer, which is sort of infamous for being very spoilery, this is not supposed to be quite as intense as Dark Souls 3, but being a launch trailer will still contain a lot of information that you may want to opt out of if you are wary for spoilers. That is the boat I am in. I will be avoiding the launch trailer, but the gameplay overview is intriguing. I'll have to check it out and hear what people are saying after watching it to see if I want to check that out. But we are only 12 days out, so... It may not be a huge deal just to skip it and just get through less than two weeks until the game is out. And now today we are rounding out our block of item descriptions talking about sleep and sort of specifically St. Trina's. And I'm going to round it out with two item descriptions because individually they don't really bring anything different to the table as far as what I'll talk about. So I wanted to talk about both to give a nice discussion to round out this block of item descriptions. First we have Trina's Arrow. Arrow carved to resemble a withered water lily afflicts target with a powerful soporific effect. Once served an exclusive ritual used by priests of St. Trina, the peace of deepest slumber can be so very hard to resist. And then we have the sleep pot which says, Craftable item prepared using a cracked pot, filled with the incantations of St. Trina. Consumes FP, throw at enemy to release a purple soporific haze, like a lullaby or a quagmire, it irresistibly draws its victims down into sleep. Sweet dreams. And before getting into these item descriptions, there is something kind of important to bring up. This was brought to my attention by someone in my Discord server, thank you Godric, and it is about Fever's cookbook in the Japanese text says something totally different from what is in the CNT version in English, and it seems that the text for the missionary's cookbook was copied to fever's cookbook and that is not true in japanese so this seems to be the accurate description which has been translated and it says recipe book of a man who is captivated by saint trina he continued to search for her in sleep and this is the cookbook containing the recipe for the sleep pot so that makes sense so we have Trina's arrow, which was used in a ritual by priests of St. Trina. Fevor, or whoever this man is, crafted sleep pots and also used sleep to search for St. Trina in his dreams. So as I mentioned yesterday, this is a whole thing. I'm not sure if St. Trina is around or just the order dedicated to her, but with these rituals and searching and dreams, it's going to get wild, I think. Whether it is anything central to the story, or central to a region, or if it is just an interesting side story, that is to be determined, but it is super evocative and yet another facet of Elden Ring to look forward to. And there you have it, day 12, we are rounding out our block of items talking about sleep, and we were getting to just the final items, I'm hoping to get through all of them and we don't have any big days where it's hard to get to an item description, but either way, it's gonna be a wild ride for the next 
two weeks and onward as Elden Ring launches, and it is just awesome to be going into like the penultimate week before launch. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like, and if you want more videos about item descriptions and news leading up to the release of Elden Ring, and then afterward you want lore and game design and just so much talk about Elden Ring and just pulling apart the game, please consider subscribing to The Lore Hunter. Thanks for watching.